in the last episode of our exploration of the true history of Hindustan, we have seen the arrival of the Portuguese missionary Francis Xavier in Goa to convert the Hindus to Christianity. We have also seen that having witnessed the resistance of the Hindus against the conversion to Christianity, this Francis Xavier had written a letter to the Pope of that period requesting the authorization of the Pope to practice Inquisition in Goa. So in this episode, let us review what exactly was this Inquisition and what were those methods practiced by the Portuguese missionaries to convert the innocent Hindus of Goa to Christianity. Francis Xavier landed in Goa with a resolve of uprooting Hinduism from India and forcing Christian church. So, all plans of persecution and oppression of Hindus came along with him. Demolitions of the Hindu temples and idols were undertaken under his guidance and the missionary seal of this particular person. Thus, it was Francis Xavier who laid the foundation for and organized the barbarous system of Holy Inquisition against the Hindus in Goa. See, the intention behind the arrival of this Portuguese missionary was to uproot, to destroy totally Hinduism from Hindustan. And what this poor guy knew about Hinduism. Hinduism was the only philosophy of life which wished the total felicity of the whole world. There are many narrations of eminent and well-known authors that Jesus Christ who disappeared from Israel at the age of 12 was a student of the Takshashila University until his 30th years of age and only thereafter he returned to Palestine or Israel. And those eminent authors narrate that Jesus Christ learned certain principles such as Aham Brahmasmi Tattvamasi Loga Samastha Sugino Bhavandu Vasudhaiva Kudumbhavam etc 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 during his period of education in the Takshashila University and as it is narrated in the Bible the only book of reference of Christianity it is seen that what Jesus Christ tried to teach the people of Israel when he returned was only love, compassion, fraternity, peace, harmony, and he even taught to love the enemies. And that is what is seen in the Bible as it is narrated. And those missionaries who proclaimed as the true followers of Jesus Christ practiced absolute brutality and crime. Before the arrival of the Islamic invaders and the Christian invaders, Hindustan was a real heaven on earth. And it is only from such a real heaven on earth, the messages that Loga Samastha Subhino Bhavandu or Vasudhaiva Kudumbagam Sarva Mangalam Bhavadu, such wishes and such prayers can come out. And that was the philosophy of life. And it was in such an earthly heaven, the devilish messages were brought and devilish activities were committed. And this is a fact. Here we have a collection of pictures which illustrates the methods practiced by the Portuguese missionaries in Goa to convert the innocent Hindus to Christianity. And all those methods were not so different from what was practiced by the Islamic invaders to convert the Hindus to Islam. I think no extra explanation is necessary to understand this type of brutal and devilish activities adopted by those Portuguese missionaries to convert the Hindus to Christianity and to bring their soul to a heaven nobody knows where it is. And see this picture also, a person immobilized with his feet in fire. And these pictures also do not need any additional explanations. And see here how a person is treated. Just to convince him to save his soul and to go to heaven by joining this group of criminals. And see these also. 
it is well represented here. The methods adopted by these criminals also to convert the people of Hindustan to that particular religion, which is totally against teachings of Jesus Christ as it is understood from the Bible, narrating what was taught by Jesus Christ, as I have mentioned before. See these pictures. Please note this particular scene of a soldier with a child in his hands. About this, I will give you more explanation later. And here also, note these methods. And regarding that particular scene, which I have mentioned you to note, the explanation is here. That is, it was a method which was found to be more effective for the religious conversion of the Hindus to Christianity. That is, the dismembraning of children limb by limb in front of their parents whose eyes were tapped continued or kept open continued until they agreed to convert. And that was the cruelest method used by the Portuguese missionaries for the Holy Office of Rome and they found this method very effective. I wish to challenge the maximum believer of this religion to explain how such actions and brutalities can be justified. Such brutalities executed on a population who lived really in a heaven in Hindustan. Again, death awaited those non-Christians who refused to give their faith and also refused to tell the names of the non-Christians, other non-Christians. And those people were kept in shackles by these priests or these missionaries. Death was by strangulation or by burning alive in public acts of faith. These atrocities continued until 1812. Exact data of the nature and number of Hindu temples destroyed by the Christian Inquisitors and Portuguese government are unavailable. 160 temples were raised to ground on the Goa island by 1566. Between 1566 and 67, a campaign by the Franciscan missionaries destroyed another 300 Hindu temples in North Goa. In South Goa, another 300 Hindu temples were destroyed by the Christian officials of the Inquisition. Numerous Hindu temples were destroyed elsewhere. A 1,569 royal letter in Portuguese archives records that all Hindu temples in its colonies in India have been burned and or raised to the ground. This Portuguese missionary Francis Xavier was awarded the rank of a saint for converting about 30,000 Hindus to Christianity. But the fact is that in his attempt to convert those Hindus to Christianity, he killed not less than 60,000 Hindus by the brutal and unimaginable cruel torture persuading them to convert to Christianity. Based on these facts, you can derive your own conclusions about how much saint was this Francis Xavier. The Inquisition set up in 1515 lasted until 1812. By that time, several thousands of Hindus and Muslims were brutally tortured and assassinated by the Inquisitors. And please note this information which is highlighted here. Those Muslims who were killed by the Portuguese missionaries who were not agreeing to be converted to Christianity were those Muslims who were descendants of the Hindus who were previously converted to Islam by the Islamic invaders since AD 712. In 297 years of Portuguese criminality, the initial population of two and a half million Hindus and Muslims in Goa was reduced to about 20,000. The Golden Goa, Dew and Daman were reduced to cemeteries. Those who survived had already lost their dear ones. The hungry wolves of Portugal had already killed and ate those innocent lambs of Goa and the darkness which spread over the glorious Hindustan since AD 712 was made more thick and complete together with the arrival of the British also. I hope you already have 
a more or less clear idea about the episodes happened in Hindustan following the arrival of the Portuguese in 1498. In the next episode, we will start reviewing the arrival of the British towards AD 1600 and the episodes or the events happened in Hindustan thereafter. If you feel that this information which I have shared with you are important for a true son or a true daughter of Hindustan to remember and not to forget, then please share this information or these videos or this episode to your friends and relatives of the new generation. So thank you very much for your kind attention to my words. See you in the next episode. Jai Hind.